Hi, hey guys, I'm here in Plumbo Attack Studio with Moki Mats. Hello. And so we're gonna just gonna do a short little video here. Just wanted to interview him. He's a really great modeler. I really like a lot of his work. He works very quickly. I always <laughs> admire like, uh, how fast you're able to get uh. these kits done and really well. Too. So uh, if you guys have seen on Facebook, he has a lot of really great stuff there. Check out his Facebook page. But uh, so nice to meet you in nice person. To meet you. Yeah. Who are you? Mm, I'm. Uh, oh, people know me as Moki Mats. Um, I have a page called Moki Plamo on Facebook, and I've been a modeler for three years since I got in my first airbrush. Mm -hmm. Did you first start off in Gumpla, or did you start off in something else and then get into Gumpla, or how did that work? It's kind of weird because when I was a kid, mm -hmm. uh, four years old, yeah, my parents actually bought me a SD kit. Okay. It was a BB Century SD kit. Yeah. So that was actually the first time I had experienced Gunpla. Mm -hmm. But I haven't started building seriously yeah. until after I graduated uh, college. Mm -hmm. So in a short span of the three years, I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just really fast for me. Yeah, well, your work is really good. So like, it's amazing how there's like some people you know have been building for a really long time, and some people have building for just a really short time, mm. like you, and they're really amazing. Like Josh is another example. Oh, he's yeah. only been building for a couple of years and he's already done really well in GBWC. Do you have any experience in GBWC here in the Philippines? I tried last year, but it was a really small entry mm -hmm. because I really wasn't, sh wasn't sure if I could afford it Yeah. and if I had any time left. Mm -hmm. What did you enter? Uh, it was a customized um, the end. Mm -hmm. um, I retextured the insides of the wings mm -hmm. and the inside of the body mm -hmm. to look more organic. So mm -hmm. when it's covered, it looks mechanical, but when the wings open, it's a bit more of a monster. Mm -hmm. That was my first entry for GBWC. I am thinking about entering for this year as well, but I might go a little bigger. Okay, not a lot of time, but you work pretty quickly though, right? Yes. <laughs> How are you able to do that? I usually divide my build time into three steps. Mm -hmm. The first one is basic assembly and cleaning. Yeah. So you snap build the model, mm -hmm. then you get rid of all the visible seams, mm -hmm. and you clean up all of the knobs and stuff. So it's ready for paint. So it's ready for paint. Yeah. I generally skip uh, multi-grit sanding mm -hmm. in favor of quick scrapes with a hobby knife. Mm -hmm. Once I'm sure that everything's all smooth, mm -hmm. I proceed to the second stage, which is priming. Mm -hmm. By priming, I also do two steps. Mm -hmm. The first step is going with primer gray, mm -hmm. and then going with a dark gray and a white for shadows and highlights. Okay. Although knowing my work, I go overboard with the colors, so uh -huh. the shading kind of disappears. Mm -hmm. okay. This makes it fast for me because when you lay down the primer, shadows, and highlights on the second stage, uh, that just leaves you enough time to just put on uh, thin layers of color mm -hmm. so that you'll be finished. Mm -hmm. So usually when I was still um, working at my old job, I, mm -hmm. I would build Gunpla at least one or two hours a night. Mm -hmm. So I would be able to finish one kit a week. Mm -hmm. Recently I've been able to do that for less. Mm -hmm. So it's been getting faster and faster. So I know you share a lot of your work in progress photos and photos and stuff on your Facebook page. Uh, have you ever considered making YouTube videos as well? Do you have any experience doing that? I haven't seen that. Actually, I haven't had any experience with uh, YouTube videos. Yeah. Have you ever considered trying it? If I get a better space to do it, because yeah. right now my workshop at home is just way too cramped for me to film uh -huh. uh, recording it. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are you planning on working on in the future? Are you planning on getting into more dioramas or more customizing and kit bashing, or what are your goals or plans for the future? I have pretty much uh, gotten to where I wanted when it comes to painting. So really, the, the only other thing that I want to learn is scratch building. Okay. But I've seen that it really takes a lot of time. Sure. One of the people that really did inspire me to try to doing it was uh, Boy Cascas Polo Bormate. One of my uh, one of my team members on Team Helios. Okay. He's working on something really big for GBWC, mm -hmm. and he's working on something to add to a high new. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of plat play. Mm. It's a lot of sanding. That's a lot of detail. I kind of want to do something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who are some other inspirational 
mothers for you? There's always Justin. Yeah. There's Justin, there's Ed. Mm -hmm. um, Japanese modelers like Jun-san, mm -hmm. one of the modelers for uh, Hobby Japan. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's Naoki. Yeah. Joshua definitely is. There are a lot more, but I can't yeah. think too yeah. much. I'm the same. It's like there's a few that I could name. There's there's so many good modelers out there. Um, what are your like kind of favorite kits to work with? HG, MG, anything you oh, guys prefer? HGs. I HG. definitely prefer HGs, HGs because of their simplicity. Mm -hmm. You can get a lot done in as little time. Yeah. Sure. The sad thing is, I've gotten so used to building HGs that it takes me forever to finish an MG. Mm -hmm. So when you do an MG, do you do you bother like painting all the inner frame and everything like that, or you just you don't only bother with whatever it's going to show? Or... I've been thinking about that a lot, and I've decided to myself mm -hmm. that I would only um, paint things that would be seen. Yeah. It that makes sense, time. right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm not going to be removing uh, armor panels just mm -hmm. to see the detailing. With HGs, though, you have to spend more time usually masking. How do, yeah. you, how do, you, do you mask with tape or liquid mask? or How do you usually do that? Or no masking? Uh, my favorite weapon of choice is always the yellow masking tape yeah. uh, from Tamiya. Mm -hmm. I always buy the biggest and the widest. And then That's, just cut it up? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut it up into small strips so it's easier to mask. Sure. Uh, what are kind of tools and other tools or supplies and stuff do you really love working with, or like would you recommend everyone to use or anything like that? Mm, I've only been used to Tamiya cutters. Mm -hmm. They're really great. No matter how many times I drop them, mm. the edges never break. Yeah. And it takes a while before the the edge actually wears down. Mm -hmm. So it's always a clean cut. Mm -hmm. Another would be a hobby knife. But what, what brand? You use Tamiya? Um, like um, Exacto. Model's knife? Exacto? Okay. It's uh, very accessible. Mm -hmm. You can get one in any bookstore or hobby store. Mm -hmm. My last favorite uh, tool is my HG uh, Tamiya trigger type. HGT airbrush. Oh, okay. I got it from my mentor who was uh, a modeler for IPMS, the local IPMS mm -hmm. here. And he's the one who actually taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. He's the one who taught me airbrushing. He's also the one who taught me weathering and um, taught me how to hone my basics when I'm building. It'd be really nice, like, to actually have a mentor you can actually meet with in person. Because a lot of people, you know, are learning stuff through YouTube yeah. videos and blogs. And if it's someone you can actually like see doing it, that must be really cool. Right? I guess uh, I was just really lucky a couple yeah. of, a year a year or so ago because I was just buying dinner and paint from the mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Then he saw my work and he decided to teach me and a couple of others. Mm -hmm. What kind of paint do you use? I've been using lacquer type paints. Mm -hmm. My favorite before was Mr. Color. Mm -hmm. I've been really getting into using Gaia. Mm -hmm. Mostly because it's so translucent. Sure. It's harder to get. Yeah, Gaia you have to thin yeah. think, more than Mr. Color from my experience. It's weird because... Um, Mr. Color and Yaya are the same types of paint, mm. but Mr. Color is more opaque. Yeah. If you're really into shading or doing gradient effects, when you use Gaia, that's a really, really good advantage. Yeah. Uh, both of those brands, I think, from what I learned in my short time here in the Philippines, are less accessible than oh, like yes. Tamiya or others. So how do you get them? Usually you have to order through others, some other country, or how do you? I am actually lucky enough to be able to commute very near to some places where you can buy Gaia and uh, Mr. Color. Just in shops? Just in shops, yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. Um, what do you think of just the community here, like shops, the other builders and fans here in Manila and in the Philippines in general? It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people mm -hmm. into Gunpla nowadays. Yeah. There's a more, Much huge. more than before. Yeah. It's a surprising so. thing. Because recent... Um, recent contest by the distributors here in the Philippines, after a couple of years, well, before this one, we've had only a few entries for those types of contests. But recent years, 2014, 2015, 2016, we've just seen a huge expansion of a lot of modelers from different uh, skill ranges, mm -hmm. filling up the cabinets with their mm -hmm. entries. Yeah. That's really inspiring to see people hunkering down and learning the basics and really representing the country for 
bigger contest like UBWC. Yeah, sure. How do you how do you see yourself as a member of the community, or how like going into the future? How would you like to like influence or um, sort of be a part of the community in the future? I've honestly been a hermit. I've mm -hmm. always been a hermit when it comes to the community. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you see me being active, sometimes I disappear for months at a time and then I come back. It's fine for me to actually do that because there's a lot less uh, drama involved with some groups or sure. other people. Because it's a, since it's a really huge community with a lot of small, big, medium groups, mm -hmm. there's really no doubt that there are a lot of uh, conflicts sometimes. Yeah, but sure. of course, there's always that resolution by the time that it comes to um, contest season. Yeah. Did you meet these people face to face? So I prefer to just be under the radar. Mm -hmm. Just doing your own thing. Yes. Keeping your head down and working hard. You get to you get to interact with a lot more people that way. Yeah. Because you're there as an individual enjoying what you do. Yeah, sure. And you're gonna end up meeting a lot of people who have the same sentiments. Mm -hmm. So that's better than making friends in the lot, friends in the community yeah. that way. Sure, sure. Do you have a favorite uh, Gundam series or timeline. What's, what, what's your favorite stuff to work with? Uh, I've been a UC boy for a while, mm -hmm. but I've been only a fan of the three OVA series. Mm -hmm. My favorite was Eat the Mess. Yeah. Next to that was Stardust, and although people might kill me over this because they think it's the greatest one ever, uh, War in the Pocket. Okay. But the most recent thing that I've been really liking in terms of uh, Gundam series is Iron Blooded Orphans. Yeah. Just cannot get enough of that show. Yeah, I know you've been working with a lot of the kids from that series. Yeah, yeah. I like the design. Mm -hmm. I like the aesthetic of the mm -hmm. of the show. I like it more, way more than Reconquista. <laughs> yeah, sure. How about Bill Fighters? Oh well, yeah, definitely. Because it's a gateway for a lot of people to get into Gundam. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. I think that's been no matter what people think of it as like a, they love it or they hate it i think yes at least it's getting a lot more people into the hobby which is always good right so yeah i like it because well, i like uh, build fighters because unlike a lot of other series where you know there are people who want to make their custom kits mm -hmm. but can't seem to get their head out of the show's canon mm -hmm. build fighters is a great way for you to just go crazy yeah sure so that's it. Any other message you want to say to people watching? People just thinking about getting into Gunpla, mm -hmm. it's a great hobby for you to try. People who are in the hobby, keep doing it. You're helping a lot of people know more about this hobby. And just be cool. Mm -hmm. And follow his Facebook page. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you yeah. next time. Bye-bye.